The best kind of evidence is first-hand evidence gathered when inspectors are on site through discussions, pupils' work and document scrutiny and by seeing the interactions between staff and pupils. We record everything electronically, so please don't be surprised if you see an inspector carrying a laptop or tablet. Sometimes typing can make eye contact difficult, but I assure you we are listening to every word that you say. It's really important that staff understand that we're not grading lessons, we're making lesson visits to see how these contribute to the curriculum. This only offers us a snapshot, but will help us to form a view of the quality of education the school provides overall. We have no preferred style, and as difficult as it sounds, you must just do what you normally do and what's right for your pupils. We never expect you to change your plans for us. In primary schools, we will always need to look at reading and we usually listen to pupils read with a familiar adult. We will always be interested on the impact of the curriculum in developing pupils' knowledge, particularly for disadvantaged pupils and those with special educational needs and or disabilities. We do not look at a school's internal assessment information and since there's no published data for the last two years, we will only use the IDSR document as a starting point. Our main source of evidence for the quality of education judgment comes from the deep dive. This will normally involve discussions with leaders, lesson visits, work scrutiny and interviews with pupils and staff. Inspectors will conduct all of these activities and then step back to consider what this evidence tells them. This methodology allows us to really accurately evaluate the quality of education without the need for masses of data. We will always be mindful of COVID-19 protocols in the school and will follow your guidance during the inspection. In some instances, it may, may be better for us to hold discussions remotely. The lead inspector will happily discuss this with you should you feel this is the best approach. We'll always speak to pupil, staff and parents during the inspection. We will also provide a link to Ofsted surveys so that pupils and staff and parents can submit their views anonymously. These are really helpful as they allow the whole school community to share their views. In our handbook, there is a really handy section called Clarification for Schools. It's on paragraph 68, which explains the things that inspectors will and will not do during inspection. I hope that you find this useful in eradicating any tasks that you would otherwise simply do for Ofsted.